Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday the 9th of January 2018. Yesterday the pound uh, moving down initially. You can see uh, there's been some buying along the way but uh, there was no follow through until eventually uh, the highest volume for the uh, morning eventually came in and then we see the market uh, coming back and eventually uh, moving back to the upside there. Uh, the dollar index moving uh, higher also uh, for one of its better days recently which we'll look at in just a moment but uh, you can see here we've got uh, the uptrend is still intact and there's a bit of a triangle uh, pattern going on here it can break either way out of this type of pattern and we've still got the uh, recent September high uh, that you can see here as well at uh, 13568 at the moment still uh, fairly uh, bullish uh, for this market so uh, yesterday a bit of indecision with uh, that sort of telegraphed bar there uh, news wise absolutely nothing today expect the market to be quiet Tuesday markets factored in the news from the weekend so uh, the general consensus is that uh, Tuesdays are fairly quiet which uh, those who have been following for some time will actually uh, know and then uh, moving over to the Dow yesterday we saw another all-time high uh, commonplace now uh, 25,379 as we head up towards the 26,000 you can see the markets already turning around uh, on the overnight as well are moving higher lots of uh, volume here as well a lot of volume for yesterday uh, as well which uh, is interesting it seems like there was some selling around which was being absorbed and the market now moving back to the upside as you'll see here we've got a uh, move to the downside to begin with uh, some buying coming in with uh, selling as well and then once the selling has disappeared which you can see there the market then is uh, free to move back to the upside and then gets uh, ramped before uh, trading sideways and then some profit take it coming in in the latter part of the session. Now just speaking of uh, the Dow, let's just uh, move over to a bit of news here. As the article said over the weekend that if the S&P and the Dow finished higher then on the Monday then that would uh, more or less uh, guarantee the market to move higher of course there are no guarantees and of course statistics always get uh, broken but it said that uh, 15 out of the last 15 years when the market was up for the first five days over two percent then the market would continue higher for the remainder of the year and just a bit of humor there as well with the uh, Rick Astley uh, video uh, never going to give you up but uh, Apart from the humorous side of it, we've got uh, thanks to today's gains, the S&P is up 2.5%, doubling the gains in gold as bonds are suffering so far, which means that uh, Ryan uh, Dietrich's notes, that's the one we looked at on Sunday, uh, since 1950, when the first five days are up over 2%, the S&P is high for the uh, 15 out of 15 years uh, times uh, with an average of 18.6%. We'll wait and see, but uh, an interesting uh, set of events there that uh, we've seen over the first uh, five days and this is the important bit of course uh, unless of course uh, this time is uh, different which we'll just have to wait and see so uh, there's the the chart and everything else but there's an interesting uh, bit here uh, before we uh, finish looking at this article We've got uh, the smart money flow index is calculated by taking the action of the Dow in two time periods. The first 30 minutes and the close and the first 30 minutes represent emotional buying driven by greed and fear of the crowd based on good and bad news. There is also a lot of buying on market orders and short covering at the open. Smart money waits until the end and they uh, very often test the market before by shorting heavily to see how the market reacts. Then they move in the big way. Uh, these heavy uh, hitters also have the best possible information available to them and they uh, do have the edge on all other market participants. But while stock uh, remained notable, it was the chaos in the cryptocurrencies that caught many, which uh, we'll look at uh, just in a second. So there's uh, the uh, follow through to uh, Sunday's uh, market alert where we looked at this and again just going back to the chart and looking at the daily chart you can see there the market moving higher 
and then what we just looked at where they, they do have the initial buying uh, normally but at the moment we've had that pattern where the market sold off and then come back but we see the sort of uh, sell at the end and then you've got the couple of uh, tests there I'll make that three and then you can see the markets uh, on its way back but uh, again it's going to be fairly quiet uh, today quick look at the implied volatility this was uh, slightly higher yesterday 856 up from uh, 833 not a lot to report here at all so let's have a, a quick move on to uh, bitcoin but just before we do that um, another few uh, articles actually uh, screaming overbought five trading days into uh, 2018 the s p has uh, already hit a four-year end price targets and um, get rid of this we've got uh, here as well that uh, risk appetite indicator hits all-time highs world stocks have longest ever streak without a five percent correction i mean it's certainly starting to look uh, dangerous out there no doubts uh, about that and uh, talking of uh, risks and bubbles and everything else uh, you can see that uh, bitcoin is continuing to uh, remain sort of sideways following its uh, massive move of last year bit of a range bound market uh, down uh, yesterday see how the market's uh, being now but it's uh, starting to see some uh, support coming in there with the green uh, bars uh, returning to the uh, market there in the four hour time frame right that will uh, do it uh, for today again expect a fairly quiet uh, day as uh, it's tuesday uh, but uh, nothing to stop the market from moving to the upside, of course, as there'll be nobody really selling into it because there's no news to move the market to the downside. And then, to be perfectly frank with you, it seems like uh, economic news items are a waste of time now. Even if they're negative, the market uses that information to move the market back to the upside anyway. So that'll do it for this one. If there's anything to report, I will let you know. Uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.